What's up guys, Douglas Jew here, and welcome back to my Let's Play of Crash Bandicoot 2 and the Wrath of Cortex. Um, before we get started jumping into level 1, I do just want to quickly explain um, how this game works out, just because uh, I don't know if I have any viewers that haven't really played this game yet, um, don't really know how Crash Bandicoot 2 really works. I just want to kind of explain the goal of it. Uh, goal of this game is to collect all 25 crystals and all 42 gems. Uh, all crystals are obtained... Um, they're usually hidden somewhere in the level. Um, well, I can't really say hidden. They're usually, you know, directly in your path. But pretty much you just got to play through the level, get the crystal, and exit. Um, once you get 25 of those, um, you can also get 42 gems. Um, there's one gem in each level that contains, uh, that you actually get by uh, by collecting, uh, or I'm sorry, destroying all the boxes in, that are in the round um, in the level. I can't fucking talk today. Yeah, so basically, um, collect all the boxes and you get a gem. Um, some levels actually have two gems where uh, the second gem could be obtained through, um, you know, a second part of the, like a hidden part of the, a secret part of the level. Um, some are obtained by, uh, by performing like time trials. Um, each level is, you know, sort of different with the second gem. Um, some don't have a second gem, but, you know, I will explain those as I go along. Um, and that's pretty much it. After each warp room, you have to face a boss. Um, but I think that's all I really need to explain for now. So we're just going to go ahead and enter Turtle Woods. I think for the first round of Turtle Woods, we are going to go for the blue gem. This one actually has a secret blue gem to it. And it is obtained by not destroying any boxes in the round. You cannot break any boxes. If you break a box, you will not get that blue gem. So. As we go through, I will also try to obtain the crystal. No checkpoints either. If you die, you die. You gotta go all the way back to the start. And now you can see why, you know, I have some, you know, speed running records in this game. I know of like all the ways to get around things. Um, this is the only hard part about obtaining the blue gem is trying to get past this part. Um, pretty much jump on that box because it doesn't break immediately. And you'll be able to bypass that without breaking any boxes. And I'm gonna jump over that pit because I know how to. I'm not really perfect at jumping over these pits and I usually fail like Oh that's awesome too anyway. And we are getting ready to obtain our first crystal. Let's go. Falling into these pits will just reveal a few of these little, uh, little mold rats or whatever. And just spin them and we get to go. And with zero boxes obtained, we have our blue gem. That's easy. So part one of Turtle Woods is done. Um, I was thinking of breaking these videos up into two separate sections if I had to go in the level again to get another gem. Um, but because this one was really, really short, I might just incorporate both of them in. Well done, Crash! I knew I could rely on you. Now listen carefully. These holograms are hard to maintain. During the course of my intellectual pursuits, I have stumbled across a force that threatens to destroy the world. Crystals are the only means of containing it. The fate of the world is at stake. It is imperative, therefore, that you bring them to me. Alright, so that's all for that one. Um, we are going to jump back in there, and like I said, I'm usually, I'm, I'm probably in the future I'm going to split up the videos if I have to go back into the level to collect another gem. Um, but for this one, because that video was really quick, we're gonna go in order and get the, uh, the all boxes gem. So, one thing about this game is, the maps are very linear. Um, there's only a couple levels where you kind of have to, you have, like, certain ways to play them, um, whether that be, um, you know, there's, like, a fork in the road or something like that. Um, but for this one, it's, uh, it's pretty lame. So belly flopping into that little face will bring you to a secret area of the map. 
You actually have to come down here in order to collect your uh, grow boxes, John. I can use some extra lives. I guess. Um, I remember when I was younger, I would have a lot of trouble getting a gem in this one, um, just because of one specific part. I will show you that. Um, spin those boxes, the ones that had the uh, the arrow that helps you jump high. Um, you'll need to destroy that and just kind of super jump across by sliding and jumping. Uh, just because if you don't destroy that, you will be missing a box. Same with this one. I uh, don't really use it to jump. Just... All right, here's the hard part. You gotta gotta be swift with this one. Slide jump. Slide jump. Slide jump. Slide jump. Basically, as soon as those birds' heads are in the ground, uh, they will not come back up. So, if you don't get up there on the first try, you probably have to restart the level. That, 35 boxes are destroyed. Jump on this and we will go back to the top. Second Uga Booga Mask. The checkpoint, and we will come to another level. Now, this is common sense. Don't spin these turtles. Whoa, that probably should have hurt me. I'll try to get the most out of this bonus round. Who's next? I apologize if my microphone does sound a little distorted or um, a little too quiet. I don't know why, but my microphone driver just seems to be acting up a lot. I'm still using my Turtle Beach headsets that I use for my um, for my Doom video. For my Doom Let's Plays, but whatever, it does the job. Hopefully I'll have a better one in the future. Yes, you don't have to kill everything when you're going for an all-boxes gem. You pretty much just have to destroy all these. When you get three Oogaboogas, this will happen. You become invincible. It's like the Starman from Super Mario Bros. Super jump and make sure you can get that box up there. Use that turtle that I just spun out of the way by accident. It works as like a star man for a short period of time, which is, you know, pretty cool. Sixty-two boxes are destroyed, and we should have a gem waiting for us. There we go. And that is it for Turtle Woods. We will not have to be back here. Um, it's not that I don't like the level. Um, I actually kind of enjoy the um, the sort of jungle atmosphere for these ones. Um, there's one other map like it in the same warp room. So let's just sit through another cutscene. So, you were helping Cortex gather crystals, yet you have acquired a gem. Interesting. <laughs> well, Crash, <laughs> know this. As long as you are allied with Cortex, Big ass you are my boy. sworn enemy, and I will do anything in my power to, to, to stop you. <laughs> if the fate of the world is truly your concern, you must gather the, the gems. Uh, if you want to skip these, you can just press triangle or if you Y. All 42 gems. I can use them to focus a laser, <laughs> a laser beam that will destroy Cortex and the space station he's created. Until then, I must use my forces to stop you from gathering crystal. So pretty much, these guys just ride your dick so you do their job for them. That's pretty much what that little cutscene meant. Um, that's it for this one, guys. I will save, and I will see you guys next time at Snowgo. Bye.